Today I want to talk to you about outsourcing and specifically why you shouldn't be afraid to train your competition. Why I'm not afraid to train my competition. I get this question every now and then when I talk about outsourcing, especially when I talk about training somebody to go sourcing for you. And it's a, you know, a sourcing profitable inventory is a very special skill to have, um, but it's something that you can, that can be outsourced. You know, if you're able to do it, you can train someone else to do it. I know before, you know, Rebecca was involved in our business, I was doing all the, the sourcing and it took a while, but I was able to walk her through and show her what I do. And now she's able to source even better than I am in certain categories. And we'll talk about that more in just a minute. Um, and then we also, uh, you know, we've hired somebody to help out with some of our prepping and packing uh, needs um, around the office. And, and, and she's also, we're training her to do some book sourcing. We're starting it off with book sourcing. We might expand her to more later if she's interested. But, but I sometimes get people saying, aren't you afraid you're training your competition? I mean, does this person live in your area? They can you know, shop at the same places as you're shopping at. What if they decide, you know what? This is some pretty good money. And instead of just making this other person money, I can go shopping for myself. Maybe I'll find stuff for myself. Maybe I'll, you know, keep the good stuff for myself and send, you know, some of the so-so stuff. To, you know, there's a lot of different worries. And I, I understand. But there's a couple of reasons why I don't think you need to be afraid about training your competition. And here's, here's the first reason. Number one, not everybody out there wants to own or run a business. Now, if you've been selling on Amazon for any amount of time, you know the time investment it takes to successfully run an Amazon business. Whether you're making part-time income or full-time income, you know it takes work. And not everybody wants to invest that. Not everyone wants to put their own money on the line. You know, when I send a, 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 a worker out to do sourcing, you know, I give them either, um, you know, a gift card to the store they're going at or I give them a prepaid Visa card. So it's my money that they're using. Not everyone wants to risk their own money on the inventory. Not everyone's cut out to do all the, the things that are, you know, setting up an account, setting up a LLC, trying to figure out insurance, trying to make sure that they are ungated on all the, the big categories, trying to make sure that they are able to send in enough stuff, take care of their Amazon fees, take care of, of setting up a, you know, inventory lab. You know, there's the list is long of things that someone has to do in order to set up a business to sell on Amazon and to get going. And, and it's all worth it. I mean, we've experienced that. And I know you have too, but not everybody has that same drive and passion. Some people are really happy just having something consistent, a steady paycheck. Some people are just happy being able to do some work you know, maybe they're just wanting a little nice side income and they're not, their dollar signs are not what they're all looking for. They're just looking for some, some, you know, feeling like they're helping somebody out, being part of a team. Um, so that's something to be thinking about. That's one of the main reasons why I'm not worried about training my competition because not everyone is cut out to do Amazon FBA. I mean, I have people, you know, I've got, you know, thousands of people subscribed to my email newsletter. Every once in a while, I'll get an unsubscribe notice and they say, I tried FBA, it didn't work for me, uh, you know, so that's why I'm unsubscribing. And I say, you know, God bless you. Good luck in whatever endeavor you, you know, go on to next. But selling on Amazon FBA is not for everybody. Even if they start on it, it's not like they're going to stick. All right, the second reason, and this is even bigger in my opinion, the second reason why I'm not afraid of training my competition is because of mindset and specifically having the mindset of abundance. I've got an abundance mentality. I honestly believe there are there's more inventory out there that I could find to sell on Amazon FBA than I've got money to spend. And and here's why I feel that way. Um like I was talking about earlier, you know, my wife, she I've helped train her source, but she's been able to do things and source things even better than I have in certain areas, certain categories. Everyone has their own strengths and weaknesses when it comes to product categories, when it comes to what they're going to pick up and scan. I mean, if you send five FBA sellers into the same store, they're all going to find different things. They're not, you know, some of them might find the exact same items, but most likely they're going to be finding different things. They're going to pick up different items. They're going to scan different items. They're going to walk out of the store with different items. I guarantee you if I walked into any retail store after one of you or anyone else who sells on Amazon FBA walks out 
thinking, okay, I've found all the stuff that's there, I'll still be able to find stuff. I, I truly believe if I am able to invest the time, I'll still be able to find stuff. Not only that, with online arbitrage, there's like an unending availability of, of products that are out there. So even if you do live in a really small town, don't have a whole lot of stores, and you're worried about training your competition, even if you do uh, end up training your competition and they become, uh, you know, focused on selling on Amazon FBA also, um, you know, they're still online. Um, in fact, we're start starting to do even better online than retail arbitrage. Um, so it's just, you know, everyone has different bi business models. Everyone has different focuses. Everybody has different strengths and different weaknesses. And no one can source like you can. No one can find things like you can. You are very unique in that, in that fashion. You know, I live in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, and some people are like, Stephen, you're lucky you've got, like, you know, hundreds of Walmarts and hundreds of stores and hundreds of Walgreens and hundreds of Targets and, and you know, but here's the deal. I also have hundreds of competitors in, da in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. I mean, there's a, a Facebook group called FBA in DFW. DFW stands for Dallas-Fort Worth. And there are almost 200 members in the FBA and DFW Facebook group. And that's just the number of people who have joined the group, not counting the others who are selling on Amazon FBA, both full and part-time, who are my competitors. But you know what? I still am able to go out and find profitable inventory every time I go out. I spent yesterday went going around, driving around to stores, was able to find a lot of really good stuff, have a big shipment going out today. And, and so it's something to think about. There's abundance, so much stuff out there. Even with new people coming into selling on Amazon and being your competitor online, you know, I, I'm not at all worried about training my competition. There's still so much out there. For just the, almost the same number of people who are coming into selling on Amazon, there's people who are like, you know what, this didn't work for me, and they're leaving. And so there's an abundance of products out there. There's abundance of opportunities out there. There's so many different categories. Your strengths are what drive you and are going to help you succeed. But stick with it. Don't be afraid to outsource simply because you're afraid of training your competition. Um, it's it's Your time is much more well spent to train somebody to do some of the work that you've done. And guess what? If you end up training your competition, you've already trained one person to do a good job, and you've trained them so good they've been able to go off and start their own company. You can train another person. You know, and, and continue to build up. And again, there's so much opportunity out there. You can take advantage of it. So think about your mindset. What you dwell on is what you become. So if you have an abundance mentality, you're going to be able to go out there and find more items, grow your Amazon business, and find success. So That's all we have for today. I really appreciate you watching this video. And if you liked it, you know, we'd appreciate you clicking on the thumbs up below. And if you want to make sure you don't miss out on any future videos, be sure you click subscribe so that you're notified when the new videos are ready. If you have a comment or a question, leave that below too. We do our best to reply to them as soon as we can. If you have a question, taking things maybe deeper, if you didn't understand anything, ask us a question and we'll help you out when we can. Or if you want to take things deeper and talk even more or add to the discussion, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And if you want to learn more about me and our website, go to fulltimefba.com. We give you out free PDFs, free helps, free blog posts, videos, more stuff to help you take your Amazon business to the next level. And if you're looking for any links that we talked about during this video, you can find those in the description below. So I look forward to seeing you on the next video. I will see you soon. I hope you have a great day. Bye.